Hi guys, so let's have a look at a quick masking tutorial. We're using Affinity Designer version 2 on the iPad, but it works equally well on the desktop, Mac or PC. So create an artboard. Let's use a 6x4 inch postcard for this exercise, for this, and name it Masking Tutorial. I always like to save and name my projects as I'm using them. Now there's your project, there's your artboard. It's fairly straightforward. You probably know how to create an artboard by now. When you go new, select artboards. Easy as. Now, fill it with yellow. Use a yellow rectangle. Don't color the artboard yellow. Deselect the artboard and then use the rectangle object, the rectangle tool, and pull out a yellow rectangle across the artboard. That makes it easier to deal with later on. Now we need our shapes to mask. Now let's use the one provided. That's on the download page on my website, and the address is below there. You can see it on the bottom line. And notice that in the layers that all the elements are curves, even the text. You can easily create something simple like this or use the file supplied. It's all in one file. And that's the radiation warning, uh, the symbol for radiation. Become familiar with that. Everybody should be familiar with it these days. Now, this is what your canvas looks like now with the notice added. And again, note the layers. They're not expanded at the moment. There's the top layer, which is the artboard, which I've named Masking Tutorial. Then there's the notice. And then there's the yellow rectangle. So the notice is sitting on top of the yellow rectangle. Now place your texture image, mine or your own. Mine's grunge.jpg and it's included with the download file. Now you're probably familiar with grunge images. They're, they're textured backgrounds. You can use any texture you like, but we've got this one. You can look on my website, as I mentioned, for a copy of this one. Fill the screen. Now select Edit and Place and locate your grunge image. Select it, then tap the centre of the workspace to cover the yellow with the mask. That way you don't have to drag it out. The mask will fill the entire workspace. But if, you, if you've got a different one and you need to drag it out, simply drag it out, as you can see there, so it covers entirely covers the workspace. I've even gone right over the bleed lines there. Now, apply the mask. This is the tricky part. Well, it's the interesting part. Keeping the grunge layer selected, open the layers panel and locate that particular icon. It's the second one in from the right at the top. I don't know what it's called, but that's it. Tap on it and then select Rasterize to Mask. And it's right there. It's in one, two, three. It's the fourth one from the bottom when that drop down menu pops up. Now, this is the same on the desktop version. Um, I'm not too sure what, where you'll find the rasterize to mask. It's in a similar location, but whether it's exactly the same tool, I don't think so. We can look at that later if you like. Your work will look like this now. You can see the grunge mask is applied. So you can see the yellow background and the grunge pattern is now showing through um, the icons, the, the, um, the radiation symbol and the text. That's what it's supposed to do. You can see it there. Notice the position of the layers. If you change the position in the layers, different things will happen. It will no longer act as a mask. Try other grunge masks. This mask I'm using there is a photo of a dystopian city, maybe. It's very faint there, and that's the way I wanted it. Note the layers now. The topmost photo JPG is a raster mask. So I've got that one as a raster mask. But the lower one, which is below the radiation symbol, is not a raster mask. They're both visible in this stage, and I've turned off the grunge one. Now you can see the raster mask for the grunge, for the texture is not showing really clearly, but that's all right. I want you to experiment with that. 
The lower photo JPG one is switched off entirely in this one. You can see in the layers panel, it hasn't got the white dot next to it. So it's turned off entirely. But what you've got there is the photo PNG at the top, which has been converted to a mask layer. And there's enough of it there. And the shape of the, mm, the images in, in there are enough to let that um, the caution radiation hazard sign be visible with the, the mask thinning it out, if you like. So I encourage you to experiment with that because you can get some really interesting effects depending on what you're trying to display. Now, this is the image used of the dystopian city for the second mask example. And you can see the clear space in the center where those towers and things are and the red um, in the bottom there, the darker outer edges, and they're the areas that the mask has been applied. Now, let your imagine guide you in how you use mask layers. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, because it helps to keep me going.